and hello again people. Uh, you join me today in a Audi A6 2014. This has been a bit of a nightmare. Obviously you can see I've already got started so I haven't actually uh, filmed any of this yet. But as I've now found fault, I just thought I'd do some filming because some other people might be having this issue on this vehicle or similar vehicles. So <coughs> the issue was the dash wasn't working and the heads-up display was not coming on. Everything else on the car is working. You can start it, drive it, everything, but just dash isn't working, heads-up display not working. Um, traced, obviously, check the fuses. Fuses are okay. The fuses for the heads-up display are these two here. Sorry, one sec. As I was saying, before I got really interrupted, the fuses for the heads-up display uh, and the instrument cluster are these two here. Um, there's power on both of these fuses, both sides. Uh, the I checked wiring diagrams as much as I could with all data. That's in a separate video. Um, that was a bit of an ordeal, but anyway. And they they cannot tell me where the feed comes from for these two fuses. They can't tell me where it comes from. I happen to know that the so it's not it's not the feed. Sorry, we they can't tell me where the connection is behind the dash for the positive feed for this connector and this connector. It's somewhere behind the dash. They haven't got any wiring diagrams that show it. So it's been an absolute nightmare. Other than, the only option would be to remove the entire dash and trace these wires back, but that's not an option. Um, so my solution, after much head scratching, has just been to, to bypass the circuit. So what I'm gonna actually do shortly is we're going to cut this wire which has continuity to the heads up display and the instrument cluster because they're all on the same feed. Um, we're going to splice in a wire here and we're going to run it up to this connector here and put another splice in into this red and yellow wire, um, solder it in and then um, yeah, hide it all, put it back together and then I'll demonstrate that that's going to fix it. Um, that's the only way of doing this cost effect effectively without ripping the car apart. There's no shorts to worth on the positive feed so it's literally a loose connection somewhere or open circuit behind the dash so the only way to do it is to bypass it so that's what we're going to do now so i've got my soldering iron i have my connectors and wire down there and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the work now so i'll get it all done i can't film it because i'm going to be using both hands once it's done i'll uh, carry on filming all right then so i've done the connections soldered in here, added an extension on there because obviously once you've cut it you've not got enough room to play with fed it down again a little extender on just because you've got enough room to play you've not got a lot of room to play with soldered connection, soldered connection into that feed so I'll demonstrate now that I'll plug the instrument cluster in and it shall work so dash in, MMI unit in I've got, sorry i got to use two hands one sec and there we go. See that the heads up display unit works. Over voila. And let's just start it. And there we go. Working, working. But obviously the car came to me in bits, so there's all sorts of lights on, malfunction warnings, etc. So we'll ignore all those. We'll let the customer put the car back together. Um, and we'll call this one a day. So uh, nice, quick, easy video. The job was not nice, quick and easy. It took three days in total. Um, that's just to get the info from all data um, in order to tr try and trace the fault. If I'd have just tried to bypass it, it to start with, it would have been a lot quicker and I wouldn't have needed to rely on all data. Um, but 
yeah, even with all data, we couldn't fix it properly. So we'll have to um, let the customer know that this one's ready. They can come and collect it, and uh, we'll leave this video there. So uh, uh, any anyone else with this issue on a Audi A6 2014 dash not working, MMI not working, even though the fuses are on, it will be the positive connection behind the dash. Um, so you're either going to have to remove the dash or you're going to have to uh, rewire it like I've just done. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.